that I was doing. This is quite funny this, because what's happened is, and you may not be able to see it with this, but there's a there's an actual, uh, where is it, it's about there, uh, there's a hole in the case. It's blown. <laughs> that Artmel chip's blown, but it's blown in a way that it actually is still working. What it is, is it's blown the ADCs, um, but the digital side is still working, see? <laughs> so if I just put this on. Well, I've also been experimenting with um, the interrupt code because um, the um, the source code, uh, when, when the app mails in an interrupt, it's disabled the interrupt during the course of the interrupt, you see. So that means that you can't have another interrupt interrupting an interrupt, which is which can get you into trouble. But in this case, it's probably not bad. It's not a bad idea because you definitely want to be able to pick up when a sensor's moved, no matter what else is happening. You want that. So even if you're still processing the previous one, you still want to be interrupted by a new sensor instance. So I think that that's the way to do this. That basically we try and design it so that in each instance. Uh, of the sensors, maybe yeah, I don't know something like a linked list or something, so that it can chain process the stuff like a bucket brigade, and then that means that each time it, it passes a sensor, it will it will definitely pick up an interrupt because you re-enable the interrupts, and that instance of processing is done um, you know, on a on a unique data set because at the moment if it interrupts and then you enable the interrupt during the interrupt of the um, next sensor. Then it will be re it will be setting the variables of the previous instance, so we don't want that. So we need some way of dealing with that, so we can actually do it probably by a linked list. But it's working, and this is the odd thing: is that the damn thing's still working even though it's blown its ADCs. I can't get the, the the ADCs are for this, right? So I can't actually set the mark and the space now <laughs> because it's blown. What it was is that I actually accidentally connected the high side of the controls to the 12 volt so it was chucking 12 volts straight into the ADCs and they're not designed for it so it blew it. Um, <laughs> but it's it's quite strange how it you, you can see where it ruptured the case so that's obviously where the ADC <coughs> stuff is and it looks like it's a separate uh, it's separate it's a separate bit of dye basically <laughs> that's blown <laughs> because normally when a chip blows it's the whole thing so uh, that's that's quite funny. And as you can hear it, it's running now. What I've done is basically I've put stuff in to uh, enable the interrupts during an interrupt. And see, it's slow. When it's under load, that's fine. And you can see it's running. And this is this is low RPM stuff. I've actually deliberately made it low RPM. So you can you can see that it's now smoother. Right, if you move that. All right. And this is at full voltage, so it's 7.5 volts, which is the voltage of the motor. And we're taking it directly from the power pack. And let's see if I can get my finger on one of the uh, uh, MOSFETs. Oh, the ones at the end are fine. Yeah, and they're all cold. The motor. Put my finger on the motor shaft, and that feels cold as well. So, I mean, I've only just turned it on, so. But that's working. What happened is that I, I, I was experimenting on it from home, and I didn't realise that I'd reconnected them wrong. And, uh, yeah. Basically, things went wrong. I think I'm just holding my finger over the mic for that one. So, the strange thing is, of course, is that I've actually blown the app mail, but it still works and it still processes the code. It's just that I can't use the ADCs, they're buggered. So, I'll have to get another app mail chip now. I might be able to just buy a chip and then reflash the bootloader into it or something, or I may just do it in assembly without a bootloader. Who knows? Anyway, that was something else that I was doing. Yeah, but it's a bit more stable now. It's actually going a bit faster at low speeds, um, but we still need to refine the code and it looks like I need a bigger, because I've done some sums and stuff to work out what, what we need, but hey, oh, anyway, that's the end of the